these are the photographs of the patient you can have a look an emaciated patient who though being 20 years old is looking like an old woman with pigmentation on the skin nail changes changes in the oral cavity with pigmentation in the mucosa as well as malaline teeth and finding of hypoplastic bone marrow and a proliferative malignancy in the stomach. So the diagnosis of this case by the clinical parameters and combination of increased aging, presence of bone marrow failure, presence of a cancer, we came out to a diagnosis of dyskeratosis congenita with adenocarcinoma of stomach. This patient ultimately underwent genetic testing to confirm the diagnosis. Now the presence of abnormally short telomeres is suspected to be the underlying cause behind the abnormalities of the dyskeratosis congenita. There are many genetic subtypes, they may be autosomal dominant, X-linked recessive or even autosomal recessive. Mutations in 13 genes have been found for telomere maintenance and core constituents of telomerase are part of the sheltering complex. All of them or one of them in, can cause this disease. Coming back to all telomeropathies as a whole, there is impaired telomere maintenance that leads to exaggerated telomere attrition that is exaggerated process of telomere shortening. Telomeres, they reach the critically short length much earlier than normal and that leads to the premature aging process in the tissues. Now, in the bone marrow what happens, the critically short telomeres lead to impaired proliferation of the stem cells and diminished telomerase function also contributes to the limited stem cell pool and regeneration. The ultimate effect is the hypoplastic bone marrow and the pancytopenia which we had seen also in the case of this patient. The abnormal skin pigmentation seen in the dyskeratosis congenita patient is also a response to DNA damage as perceived by the repair machinery due to the short telomeres. The melanin distribution is similar to those caused by UV exposure in human skin which itself is a DNA damage response. Another component of this patient was that she developed a malignancy at this young age. When the DNA is critically short, there is an activation of the DNA repair pathways and a loss of regulatory control. This leads to chromosomal instability, fusion of chromosomes, various translocations and aneuploidy. Unstable potential malignant clones which are immortal can be generated. So you can see that the simple fact that the telomere length is inadequate and ultra short leads to multifarious effects in various organ systems especially in those cells which are actively proliferating like the bone marrow, the skin and a presence of short telomere activating the repair mechanisms leading to chance of malignancies. Now how to diagnose these diseases? We can have an idea about the telomere length actually measure them by the processes called flow fish in the lymphocyte subpopulation of which the lymphocyte population is very much preferred for calculating the telomere length. Another process which is utilized is the quantitative PCR. Now when we get the reports we have to compare with the age of the patient. Why? Because telomere length varies according to the age. 40 to 60 base pairs are lost per year of increased age. If the length is below the 10th percentile of that age bracket, we say that the telomere is short. Treatment of telomeropathies is very dismal actually, but we may try to 
address the individual components of the disease. For example, if we have a hypoplastic bone marrow, we may go for the allogenic stem cell transplant. It has been tried whether to go for lung transplantation in case of pulmonary fibrosis patient, but this has not been too successful. Sex hormones may be given to prevent telomere attrition. However, how much this is actually beneficial is a question to be answered. To summarize, aging and cellular aging are not synonymous. A young person may develop some disease where his or her cells become senescent. Short telomeres cause stall replication followed by cell death. They also make chromosomes vulnerable to DNA reorganization if they become ultra short and this is dangerous because it may lead to a malignant potential.